Let's book people in. So, brother. Kapai, not in a no my heart of my Tefano KP radio live streaming to the universe and back with our creating spaces crew. Tenakwe, the brother Harlan. We're going to jump into setting the kopapa, which is intuition. So, no my heart of my Hinewai. She's just jumping on. Kia ora, sis. We're going to put you in the hot seat and put you straight in the kopapa. The kopapa is reflections for the week. How are you feeling? What intuitions have you set for the week? Kore to my sis. Can you hear us? You're on. Kia ora. Oh, we. And she's gone off. Katie Pai. <laughs> so you guys understand the, the intuition that I've seen here with you is to strengthen our online space. Harlan, bro, what about you? How have you been for the week? What have you gone through? And then what are your thoughts on that as well? Uh, well, kia ora whanau, my beautiful, beautiful whanau. I just want to quickly jump in and say, you all look beautiful today. Bloody awesome. Awesome crew. Kia ora my sister, he waitirangi. Kia ora my sister, he Um Intuition. Uh, what's been happening lately? I'm currently parked up with the sister Bex. And um, we've been sharing space over this lockdown. And it's been nothing but pure wānanga. Pure wānangas. Um, lots of uh, learnings and, and growing. Lots of sharing and uh epiphanies um she's currently going through her day of silence and fasting i've been doing the three meals a week uh so fasting like intermittent fasting daily intermittent fasting i guess you could say um and so for me that whole journey's just been about re-establishing my connection with clay and food and and what, what it means to me, you know, what is it for? You know, why do I eat? What do I eat for? Um, is Am I eating for flavor or am, am I eating for sustenance? And so this this is what my journey is going, is going through at the moment. And this Rahui period is perfect because my teen has been screaming at me over the last however many years to start tuning up and finally get an opportunity. But anyway, um, is that that's pretty much it. Is that, is that all? Um, um, brother, you wanted to hear? Well, yeah, that's yeah. it, bro. And then you pass the rako on to the next final. Sweet. I'm going to drop the rako down to my brother, Wolf. Boom. Yeah, my... Kia ora. There we go. Hello. Hello, everyone. It's nice to see you all. I agree with Harlem. You all look beautiful. And intuition. Jump straight into it. Where have I been this week? I'm in a similar space to where it seems like you are, Amos, with this, uh, with this, what you're doing here, because I've been uh, looking at branching out into doing more, how do I put it, more conversational content when I'm when I'm creating things rather than just me holding space and walking pe through people through things. I'm going to have someone on the other end asking their questions as well as uh, that provides a space for me to use my platform to share their medicine or whatever it is that they're trying to get out there as well. So I've been looking at using Zoom like this to go A, to record like you're doing, but also to go live at the same time. It's I've been having some issues with it going live on Facebook. It just won't do it for me. It's something weird going on. So we've done it through YouTube, but we've also found another system that allows us to put up pretty logos around the screen and pictures and things as we're walking real easily and have things scroll across. So we're doing doing that uh, editing software. So the the software that's called is called Streamyards that I'm that I'm putting that up through and just been thinking about who to talk to really uh and obviously all of you on this call if you guys want to jump on a call with me i would love to do that and i've 
some of you have said that on the post I put out there, so that's cool. And yeah, just that's where I've been is just taking different directions with the life force movement and what we're doing and trialing those systems. So Man, bro, well. we can we can work together with that because I know with me, you and Henny Wire, we're all on that same tech side of like how yeah. can we link it all as well. Yeah. Cool, bro. And I got I got to pass it on. I got to pass it on. Okay. Uh, um, who who do we have? Henny Wire, I'm gonna pass it to you if you if you if you're working this time. But, uh, kia ora whanau. <laughs> kia ora, brother Amos, thank you for this. <laughs> no, okay. um, so I, uh, I kind of missed, because I was having issues, um, I missed your korero. So we are sharing about... Yep, so it's just to catch up on the week and the kaupapa's intuition. Um, I know because of us are sharing this online space, you know, we're going through our own things, even like going on live. So it's just a space for us to reflect also on how we feel with going on live and, and the things that we're doing in our week and, you know, how it all ties into the space that we're creating as well. So it is pretty yeah. general, so you can go from any angle you want and it's your time to speak. Cool. Oh, wow. Um, so for me today, reflecting upon the past month, um, and everything that's happened in our space that we've created, um, and my own stuff that's been coming up, it's been awesome. Like a uh, lots of mamai that I had to look at. Um, whilst also, you know, holding space for people. So I've had to dive deep and I've had to really listen. Like I've had to really, really listen and, and I've noticed how much I, I actually don't listen um, when I'm being told. Yeah. And it, you know, it comes back to sort of bite me in the ass a little bit. But, you know, they're only little things, but it's just like, wow, I actually really need to pay attention. Um, and that's what I've been getting from all of this is like, you need to listen, you need to pay attention, you need to step up more, um, you need to be more clear. So for me today, I've been, I've been resting a lot because I had a lot of energy shifts last night, I had a lot of stuff come in and it was just out the gate so much huge aroha energy, like messaging a few of our brothers and sisters this morning and everyone was the same and it was just like whoa what's this out the gate shift that's just happened and yeah I'm still trying to like bring it all in and just yeah process it all more but I'm feeling just big deep aroha and ready to step up more yeah be more clear and just do what I can mm. just hold space for us all and just be the love. Mm. And we're yeah. all in this together, sis. We're all in this together. Yeah. I feel the same things you're saying. Awesome. Kia ora. And I'll pass the rako on to... Who, who's on here? Oh, Sister Charlotte. I'll pass the rako on to my sis. <laughs> Kia ora, everyone. Can you hear me? Can, can you can hear me? Eh? Kia ora everyone. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm the same. I just jumped on at the end of Harlem's corridor, so I kind of missed the boat here. What we're talking about, I think we're talking about intuition. Is that right as well? And yeah, Isis. just catch. Oh, cool. Okay, just checking in. Eh? Um, yeah. Powerful. <laughs> um, I'm feeling like I'm processing lots at the moment. Um, yeah, I'm processing heaps and feeling in like a really beautiful space. And um, from the beginning of this Rahui, like 
so where I'm at now has been like incredibly powerful and um, like it began with being dropped into the fire and having to face some real, real deep mummy and um, cord cutting um, toxic like connections within my own whanau. So I've had to do like real deep core healing stuff. And um, it's been a beautiful journey, lots of tears, lots of like releasing and purging and um, tracking back to when I was a baby and, and like, back in the womb and all of that, like literally having to remother myself through this whole process. Um, so that's been really powerful. Uh, yeah, just like removing obstacles and then healing even deeper. And um, yeah, I think like my first live share, I was on, I was at the beach and I was like just processing that. Like I just, I just, um, yeah, basically cut the cord with my mum. And yeah, it, it actually gave me so much courage to, um, to continue to share even though I was going through shit myself and um, I think that's actually been something that I've realized through like opening and you know giving ourselves permission to speak just exactly as we are where we are and what we're going through like without even realizing that's so powerful it touches other people because whether we realize it or not like I feel like we're going through really similar um, upgrades and uh, I think listening to our intuition like really tuning into what is needed um, for ourselves but also knowing that within the collective those messages are really powerful and just in the last in the last um, the last couple of weeks have been like really powerful for me and my little bubble and my whanau now I'm with my dad and my tamariki and um, making peace and total contentment with where I'm at in my life at the moment, like making peace with our environment, even though a part of me has wanted to run away, be somewhere else, you know, I've had to really like ground down, anchor into my into my body, into my tinana, and um, really do the mahi, eh? Like, can't run from it, gotta do it. And then, like, being able to share from a place of real authenticity and truth of where I'm at, and noticing how much that's like touching the lives of others, and and it's a really beautiful thing. And I'm feeling like blown away with how much um, aroha has been woven through our our group and so many beautiful people uh, like connecting in with us and this like this this energetic shift that's happening on our earth at the moment it's just so powerful and this mahi that we're doing is so needed and important and I, and I feel like you know like we're deepening into our root systems and it's feeding our mama, it's feeding Papa Tuanuku and, and we've been rewarded every day. There's a gift, there's something to be grateful for. And um, yeah, it's really interesting, like tuning in with each and every one of you um, who I've been, you know, spent, like sharing, you know, little private messages with mainly my sisters and some of the brothers, um, just like, how your journey as well is like touching me and giving me gems and then we're sharing this wisdom and knowledge within the fariki and then it's like it's like branching off you know like these little shoots branching off and, and dropping little seeds and then there's others that are like wow what are you doing and just you know being drawn into again the root system and and to really have that base of aroha you know I feel like this that's the difference with this kaupapa is that there's absolutely no um, expectation of return. There's just absolute like commitment to to the path of aroha and, and lifting that vibration and rebirthing our earth and being of service of, as kaitiaki. And um, 
yeah so <laughs> back to the live sharing <laughs> I'm really feeling like since sharing for me it's like opened up a whole new pathway that I didn't even know that was inside me eh? and it's it's really um empowering to feel like to to open to to voice those things to share to be seen like to have courage to be seen I think that's like really beautiful because we all deserve that you know okay I think <laughs> I think I'm done <laughs> so took us <laughs> <laughs> cool um okay so I'm passing the Rako hang on let me see Can you wait it on me? Can you wait it on me? I feel the babe. It's all yours. Kia ora. <clears throat> yep. <laughs> so, um, thank you to everyone and Amos. It's lovely to um, meet you. And um, I, like everyone else, uh, is going through the same um, self reflection. Um, going, trying to align myself with the frequencies that I'm feeling within that are bringing up a lot of tears for me, which is a, a really good sign um, because healing and being of service to others, you forget about um, your, your own needs. And so um, this time in the Rahui has really uh, forced me to um, get back to my own basics. Um, and yeah, today it seems like it's in line with what everyone else has been feeling. Um, just my intuition of the live feeds um, is very much where I'd like to be, where Sister Charlotte is, <laughs> where I can um, let my voice flow and, um, th you know, let my voice carry the weight of it that I'm wanting to share. It's not a platform that. Um, used to at all. I, I like the kanohi ki kanohi, knowing the faces that I'm talking to, um, sharing with, um, spending space with, and I, you don't get to see the faces or, or have that connection um, that I'm so used to. So, uh, so I suppose it's um, forced me to just to go a little bit deeper in trusting um, Tipuna. Uh, because I've been questioning them lately, <laughs> because it's that whole, where, where am I? What am I doing? Is this the new path for me? If it is, I don't know if I can sit in it very well, because it's not something I'm used to. So, yeah, all of those changes I've just, um, like you all, <laughs> had to go through. So, um, I'm loving it. Um, I'm not going to shy away from this beautiful space and I really thank you anyway for, for holding it and, and um, for going through all of your sacrifices so that the space can be a platform for us to, to um, grow. So I really appreciate you sis um, for doing that and yeah intuition it's growing it's changing and that's about it, really. <laughs> so thank you, Robi. I will pass the rako on to. Hello, sis. I think um, we got one more sister left to speak. Hi. To Ilia. I might have said that wrong. Ilia. Ilia. Say this. Hold on, I'll just see if one. Oh, yeah. Can you hear me? I'm not sure. Can you hear me? You can? Oh, bye. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay, cool. All right. Kia ora, my beautiful whanau. Um, Well, it's been such an amazing week. Like, honestly, so much has been happening. Like so much shift has been happening, um, and I just first of all I just wanted to say that looking looking at the lives and looking at the group and looking at uh, what everybody's sharing into the space 
it's really um it's really beautiful you know and what we're doing the vibrations that it's creating and um, the connection that it's creating like it's just radiating like the energy is radiating like everybody can feel the aroha and like even me i'm like you know doing my lives but when i'm watching everybody else i'm like oh and day like i feel like i'm learning something new every single day you know or i'm saying something and then it's like even though like i'm doing it too like it's bringing healing to me as well you know it's soothing and it's also like showing like how deep in we're actually going you know how deeply connected we actually are when it comes to this vision you know and it's um i honestly i just want to say thank you that i'm like even in the space to even share like to be able to um share these experiences you know and to be able to resonate with everyone who's on the same mission doing the same thing like it's been very very inspirational <laughs> you know but the shifts have been huge too like especially from um the first life that i did because i didn't like in myself i didn't realize how deep um i was gonna go and it just it went there you know the flow took me there and i just trusted it and yeah it brought so much um healing and it brought so much peace and it brought a lot of high perception too and yeah i think everybody else that had like has done life since then like that kind of kind of kept me in my place like in the sense of like kind of kept me grounded like i felt like i was supported like fully supported you know and um yeah when we talk about intuition and like looking ahead um i think it's awesome that we're tapping into the tech side because that that is like another step that needs to happen for us to expand the collaborating with each other doing lives with each other i think that's a massive idea you know because we're bringing followings together you know and that's boosting the, the whole following in general so i just think that's an amazing idea um yeah i've been doing like myself doing a lot of um releasing but this has been happening for like the last i would say about a month maybe longer um that shifts have been happening you know but um i feel like it's meant to be you know i feel like everything that's happening is as it should be um and i'm really enjoying the process of this change um the transition you know and the growth that we're all having and the fact that we're all quite open to do um what it takes to make this whatever it's going to become you know let it blossom let it shine like it's just it's gonna be what it is you know it's gonna be powerful it's gonna move the people like i'm all for that you know starting from centered place of love like that is the most powerful thing we could give anyone you know so i'm just at the moment um although i'm going through all of these shifts feeling like immensely blessed you know uh, to be in this moment to be doing this right now you know and to have this kind of connection to you I truly am so grateful for you, grateful for you guys. Like, it's just, yeah, it's beautiful. We're bringing healing, we're bringing joy, we're bringing peace, we're bringing love. Like, what more could I ask for? What more could everybody else ask for during this time? You know, so, um, yeah, I think that's, I think that's me. I hope I answered that question correctly. Perfect. That was, <laughs> all of it was perfect, Fano. So the reason why I opened up this space is because what you would have seen, we've all just contributed to the same Copa. And if we go back and watch it again, it doesn't matter what time you came in, you can learn something from each and every one of us. Um, so, you know, that's it. That's the Zoom. This part was recorded. Now we open the mics up to just open communication. I've got nine minutes left um, on the recording. And then our brother Harlan can close it with a karaki, eh, brother? Yes, uh, yep, yep, that's cool, Man, brother, yep. Man. Yeah, so thanks to Harlan, bro, you're the one that made this movement, you know, bro, and we're all jumping on the same co-popper, so it's all of our movements now, bro, speak to your space. 
Um, yeah, I just quickly want to address the the equality that's here and and the equality that um, that is needed. A mm. whanau, the equality that is needed in mm. in in gender as well. Mm. Eh? With our wahine, with our tāne, with our masculine, feminine balances and energies and um, with our social s- social structure. The way our society mm. has been structured. Let's, let's bring balance back to the way our society has been structured. Let's bring the aroha, mm-hmm. like what the brother, oh, what the sis said about the aroha. Let's bring the aroha back. And pff, this, this, is, this is clearly, this is clearly, um, one of the major steps into doing that. Eh, finally? Collaboration, connection, authenticity, um, vulnerability. I don't know, beautiful things. I, don't and um, I could go on and on. Each yeah. and every one space so too, but would be on there for ages. So <laughs> yeah. this is the open comms part, Fano. How do we feel? There's no, you know, formality around it now. So no, just no. reflections before we kind of jump off. I, I just, I just want to offer this, the thoughts that came through for me is that. Um, just reflecting on what everyone said about their journey with doing the lives. This this is a big part of what I do for a living, so it's not new for me. But I just wanted to offer, I guess, the the thought to you, Harlem, about how special this thing that you've created is. Because, as I said, this is something I do for a living. This is something that I put a lot of time and thought into what content I'm putting out and how I'm putting it out because it has to have a value perceived to be attached to it or else I'm not going to make a living but to have created the space where I feel like I can come and freely give with no expectation of return but knowing that the value is being seen there because of the platform that you have so beautifully created and invited us into such a powerful thing so beautiful to to have that freedom created for us and to be invited to 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 stand in this and I, yeah i just want to make sure that by you brother um well um yeah just humbled finally that you all feel this way um yeah uh speechless um and and just want to constantly Bring bring the bring the um, bring the support that level of support as mutual um, to each and every one of you. Beautiful, and I mean it from the center. If I when you look up there in the sky tomorrow and you see that ball of energy, powerful in the sky, shining bright, it's so bright you can't. You have to squint when you look at it. You can't even see it. That's how much I love you guys. That's how much from the center, that's that's the only way I can explain on how much I am so grateful and humble to be sharing space with beautiful like-minded people who are coming from that place of authenticity. Because that's that's that you will only survive here if you are coming from that place. Because mm-hmm. the vibration of creating space is so mm-hmm. high. You will only survive here if you are vibrating at a level of aroha. And so to share space with all of you beautiful beings as I'm looking at you now, and many and the many others who are going to, who are part of the, the Roku, um, yeah, I honor each and every one of you, Fano, from the center of my being, from the center of the sun. That's okay, brother. And it's only going to get bigger. Can I just um, apologize, or not apologize? Um, I just want to correct what I had said, um, I th- was under the impression that Kenny Wai was the um, creator of the space. So, um, aroha my bro, but thank you anyway. Um, no, that, there's, there's absolutely, everyone is, is a big, massive part to play in this, my sis, and mm-hmm. how, how, there's no way I would be able to do it on, on my own. And 
the sister Hinawai, you know, she is she is the one who who started this online um idea of yeah. creating space. Creating space. Um, my online. my whole yeah, right on. Like she she's the one who started this visual online um creating space, like giving it some focused energy and attention. My whole co was about journeying around Aotearoa and creating uh space within the communities. And she sort of just like was like, Yeah, let's do it online. So uh, I it's, right. it's just a beautiful collaboration. Yep. And and you. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, well, Tadangi, I just want to say that your live is one of my favourites so far. And I'm just saying that because I think that you're a bit nervous about being new to it, but I think that's why you're bringing as much beauty to it as you are, because it's raw, it's real. There's no script. You're just showing up and letting it flow. So keep good, keep keep oh, up. I, I will. Thank you very much for this beautiful um, support. That's a good you know, one. How can I not? <laughs> Kia ora. And oh, and Alia, just on your on your two lives, I love seeing your first one. How you went deep, you let it pour out, and I can see you talking about it. You weren't prepared for that either, but it was beautiful. And then the second one, it's like you had got everything out of your way and you were just like, duh, 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 duh. me and Harlan were sitting there commenting like, this is sick. This <laughs> is amazing. It was, it was so fun to watch the transition yeah. between the two. So it was, it was wicked. I, I, I just oh, want to get a look at what's been said about what is organically being created and just flowing and how it's just mm. being shared. It's just happening. I, I love it. So bad. And um, um, yeah, I'll just. I think we might have to wrap it cents. up, bro. Like you're gonna have to okay. end it soon with a karakia yep. vote and check okay. last word. Okay. Um, I'll just have a quick two cents with the sis, my sis. That day that we had that meeting in um, Te Tairawhiti about creating space. You remember we had that uh, hui around the table at the sister um, Lisa's place um, to see the the beautiful your beautiful butterfly wings bloom and flourish since then is absolutely powerful and um yeah i just wanted to address that as well so i'll, I'll finish out who with a quick karakia whanau <sighs> dear loving divine beautiful universe innerverse outerverse the very space that encompasses us right here in this infinite moment no matter where we are no matter where we are sitting, we are still connected. And if we would just like to take this time really quickly to breathe in through our nose and out through our mouth. And share this beautiful, beautiful space that we have created this evening. We send big, powerful waves of aroha from the center of our being out into the multiverse out to the whanau out to the people who who need it at this time out to the people who need the 